All right, so we're gonna use the provided hardware. Just getting out the bars is just pain in the b What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button for more vlogs. Woo! Oh man, I'm so exciting right now. Exciting times. Gonna finally get this build all complete in the next few weeks. Woo! So in today's vlog, we'll be installing the TDMAM rear sway bar, also known as stabilizer bar. This is very unique because it's uh, custom made from TDMAM. And oh my God, it looks so, so good. So I guess you guys are saying, hey, well, why didn't you go with a progressive or an ultra racing Rear sway bar. Well, just trying to keep the theme with the build. Oh, well, majority of it is all TD Man. So that's why I went with the TD Man rear sway bar. But it seems like it's not anything different from those brands. It's just keeping all with the theme. Pretty sure all sway bars out there work the same thing. The reason why you would want to upgrade your rear sway bars are to keep your back end not swaying so much. Understeer. To correct that, you need to beef up your rear sway bars. And then I'll bring you guys on a test drive to see see how it drives there's two settings of the t-demand rear sway bars hard and soft i'll show you guys in a minute first off i want to try to get the rear end very hard because of the air suspension it's kind of it's kind of so i want to say it's too soft i like to get it more harder setup hopefully the rear sway bars would fix that all right let's get to it Woo! all right so i got the cars on jack stands it's always a mission on getting the car on jack stands because of the air suspension i'm gonna be uh, taking off the wheel i need space to spray pb blasters on the end links nuts those are notorious for being all seized up so hopefully the pb blaster will uh, help me out and getting those nuts loose so this here is a sway bar i'm gonna be replacing that it does come with a new bushing we'll leave the top knot on touch and then we'll just deal with the bottom one we'll soak up the nuts for like about 30 minutes or so and hopefully that would really um, loosen it up a bit so i'll show you guys the specs on this bar since it's a custom and one-off we'll go ahead and check this one out so this is about 19, 18, 19, 18-ish. So as all rear sway bar, you have two settings, the hard and the soft. The more hard is more towards the bar and the more soft is towards the end. I want the rear end to be as hard as possible. All right, that's 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and crack the bolts. So we got a 14 millimeter wrench right here. So we're gonna be using the close end on this guy and I'll verify the size of the Allen key. So we're gonna be just doing it like this loosen it hopefully change the plan so having a hard time so i'm gonna try to remove this end of the um the lower arms yes now i have room so now i gotta remove the bush and bolts right here there's another side right here So I got the bolts from the bushing out. So right now I'm gonna do the other side, the same process as well. This is probably the hard part. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was a So now we got the OEM bar out here. As you can see here, it's the same diameter. But on the end link side, you have a, a few adjustments here. So obviously this would be the soft end on this end here and the hard end. We're gonna put in the, the, the hard end here. Oh my God. Oh. <sighs> just getting out the bars is just pain in the butt. But we all got it in now. So it's gonna be all simple as that from here on out. As you can see here, the sway bars are all connected right here. Another view right here. Just getting it through the exhaust was just pinning the butt right there. So now I just have to go hook it up right here. And I should be all good to go. So with the TD Man's rear sway bars, it did come with hardware and new 
bushing and mounting as well here but it didn't indicate which side is the left or right side so just have to go play around with it here's the bracket new all of these guys here so we're gonna put some lithium grease here so it doesn't make any noises all right so we're gonna use the provided hardware and put on these guys the bushings for these guys there's no indication of where what's the front so it's, we're just gonna simply insert it like so these guys the hanger So it's gonna be tightening this nut to the end link. Okay. This corner right here, wanna rip it out. Oh, oh Woo, that felt so good. So I'm gonna take you guys to a test drive with the newly installed TD Man rear stabilizer bar also known as rear sway bar so right now it feels kind of stiff actually as for a 19 like a stock diameter it feels super stiff man Woo. right here this is the turn on to the on ramp oh Ooh, man this feels hella stiff feels super good the back end feels more responsive now so it's not understanding very much so it's uh, pretty much grounded actually and loving it already back end of the car feels so much better feels very stiff I'm glad that uh, that all worked out so overall i'm very happy with the setup it's so finally made it to the destination guys Oof, it's a sunset right there mokoteo's lighthouse the car right there it's cold for me outside and I forgot my jacket so I figured I'll talk to you guys in the car so overall the installation was great it was very straightforward the only hard part for me was getting the OEM rear sway bars out of the car it took me a long time so well, what I did with mine is that I so I moved the bar towards the front I bend it in a way where it would not touch the exhaust but the funny thing is that when putting on the td man rear sway bar it was so simple like literally a couple tries but then it's so weird because it, it just snapped into place like that yeah overall the installation was very straightforward just one tip is that maneuvering the rear sway bar out of the car is like um, tricky so um just keep the bar towards the front of the car and then you should be all gucci anyway so that's that's that for this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it was very straightforward vlogs and this is gonna be one of many for the td man complete tsx build so you guys know what to do like comment subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one Ow! all right guys that's a wrap hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it and don't forget guys to make sure you guys hit that like button take the time to comment and subscribe